Welcome to Lianka's channel. I am going to do these two nice bows. And if you'd like to see how I've done this, please keep on watching. I load my sponge with lime green and white and apply into the areas around the bowl. Then I'm loading my brush with black and red, with mostly red. And with lighter part up, I'm doing three lines. The kind of square in the middle and a bit longer lines on the side. Next I'm going to paint a corner um, so the bows going inside of the middle square and the dark color goes around to create a shade. If it's not enough I'm just pulling the dark corner around and then in the middle as well to create the creases of my uh, bow. I'm making sure all the bow's creases going inside of the square so are hiding behind it. Now I'm finishing off the, the sides of the bow with the ribbons and I'm also adding double corner and I'm doing it with a lighter red, just, just for the corner. Generally, bow is finished. Now you just have to put darker sides and highlights. You don't have to do it when you are trying to be fast. So I'm going with light uh, at the top with, with the white color and adding the creases, like highlights for creases and then I'll go dark at the bottom. You can also smudge um, color to make it look more natural. My favorite smudge tool is finger as you can see. black color at the bottom part and under the white creases. And I'm also darkening the area inside the bow when the when the fabric is bending. And that's it. Bows are finished and I'm starting to decorate around them. So I'm doing multiple teardrops around it and following underneath my cheekbone, making some swirls and I like to do it from both sides at once, so I'm switching from one side to another. And I'm also going to go across my forehead and connect them, uh, connect the lines in between my eyes. So my initial mask is ready and add in some sparkles. But I'm going to do full face mask. So I'm painting the lines across my face inside of the of the areas that I already painted and then I'll go crisscross to make it look like a net, like a lace. I'm also finishing up the mask with teardrops to, um, to be able to go inside with the lines.
Um, what I like to do with my laces is to put a dot in between uh, when the lines are meeting, so it looks more like fabric. Now I'm outlining the whole mask and I'm trying to vary the width of my um, strokes. So I'm going from thin to thick and I'm going around my lace, going inside a little bit. And that's the mask finished. To give it even more dramatic look, I can outline my lines and make them much darker and then add um, sparkles and glitter at the top of the top lid. So that will be good to go for my mask and eyes. So I'm painting my eyelids much bigger than they are and that prevents me from um, Imagine the color when I'm playing pen during the night, and obviously I'll put lots and lots of glitter. So look at the sparkle. To finish up my look, I'm painting my lips bright red and adding some glitter as well. One more option is to add a shadow underneath your mask, and what I'm doing, I'm um, applying the diluted black under the mask and then smudging it down looks like a shadow. Both itself take just a couple of minutes to do and mask itself you need to spend a little bit of time but it looks very dramatic and impressive. And if you have any questions do write in the comments I'll be happy to answer them. If you have any ideas what would you like to see next please write as well and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Bye!